Three years after the January 6 riots at the U.S. Capitol, a new video is still emerging. The footage obtained by Punchbowl News shows just how close rioters were to lawmakers. House Democrats in safety hoods frantically run out of the third floor gallery of the Capitol, guided to safety by a police officer. Less than 30 seconds later, three rioters are seen in the same hallway. Democratic Representative Annie Custer, one of the members who escaped, had access to the security video for more than a year. She told Punchbowl News they sat on it for security reasons and because of the January 6th committee's jurisdiction. However, after Speaker Mike Johnson released all of the January 6th footage and with the anniversary of the riots on Saturday, Custer believed it was time the near confrontation is seen. Where the democracy is still America's sacred cause, is the most urgent question of our time. And it's what the 2024 election is all about. That was President Joe Biden Friday as he launched his 2024 campaign, taking aim at former President Donald Trump in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, just one day before the third anniversary of the riots. Trump will also hold a campaign event as the January 6th anniversary looms, appearing in Iowa later Friday, ahead of the state's January 15th Republican caucus. The former president has downplayed the attack on the Capitol, saying he would pardon many of those convicted if he wins another term. Hundreds of people have already been convicted. The convictions range from members of far-right extremist groups, former police officers, an Olympic gold medalist, and active-duty Marines. Washington's federal courthouse remains flooded with trials. There are guilty plea hearings and sentencings. It's the largest criminal investigation in American history, and the hunt for the suspects continues today. With nearly 900 people convicted to date of crimes committed on January 6, 2021, we are at a point in our prosecutions where thousands of photographs, videos, and communications have been accepted by courts. The public's help is still needed, though. More than 80 people are still wanted and unidentified for acts of violence at the Capitol. Hundreds of those already charged in the riots await a Supreme Court decision. The case involves the federal government's charges of obstruction of an official proceeding, specifically the certification of the 2020 election as rioters entered the chambers. Those charges could be overturned by the nation's highest court. Trump also faces the charge, but argues it's politically motivated and that he's immune from such prosecution. And now they're fighting like hell because they want to try and get a guilty plea from the Supreme Court of the United States, which I can't imagine because you have presidential immunity. But strange things happen, but they want to get that because that's the only way they're going to win the election. At least two defendants had their sentences delayed as they await the decision. More revelations on Thursday suggest the scope of the attack on officers may have been greater. An officer was crushed in a door within the hallway. Numerous members of the mob used spray against the officers. The mob threw makeshift weapons at the officers. Others hit officers with weapons that they carried. And one member of the mob even set off a firework. The DOJ believes the number of officers injured is larger than the 140 reported. U.S. District Attorney Matthew Graves said it's likely the largest single-day mass assault of law enforcement officers in our nation's history. He went on to say the 140 number undercounts the number of officers who were physically injured, let alone those who have suffered trauma as a result of the day's events. Dozens of people believed to have assaulted law enforcement on January 6 have yet to be identified, according to Graves. The U.S. attorney says the statute of limitations is five years. They will have to be prosecuted by January 6, 2026.